I came from a background of abuse, abandonment, so it is very common when you come from that kind of background and that sort of trauma that people pleasing is an outwork out of that because you've just, you're just trying to survive, man. You're just trying to survive. So I remember I got to a place one day where I said to the Lord, if, to be honest, God, I actually do care what, let's say, this person in my life, a very significant kind of mentor, I actually care what they think more than what you think. Mm -hmm. And I remember when I got to that place, I mean, I was like, mm, you know, very repentant, like, but I was yeah. like, I go, and I don't know how to change that because I could lie and go, I care about what God thinks more than what I care about this thing. But th at that point, I didn't. And I said, so Jesus, you're going to have to help me. You're going to have to help me yeah. um, to get my heart back into alignment because until we truly get to the place and stay in that place yeah. where we care more about what God thinks than what other people think, we can... We can blame social media. It doesn't help. Mm -hmm. We can blame our friends. If they, it, they often don't help. Um, we can blame the, you know, the magazines at the checkout that are going to tell you you're not pretty enough, you're not skinny enough, you're not smart enough, you're not... Ca so all of those things are helping. Like there's no doubt that they're going to tell you you're not enough. But until fundamentally we truly care and yearn yeah. for the approval of God yeah, over yeah. the approval of man. We will always right. struggle with Pinterest. Yep. Yep. We'll always struggle with, mm -hmm. with everything. But if I'm coming from a place of approval rather than for approval, yes. Yes. it changes. I can scroll through anything mm -hmm. and I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm commenting right. so nicely because yeah. I'm so happy. Because I, and so in ministry life too, it's the same that if I labour to enter that place of rest, which is the Abraham's place of believing God yes. and yeah. receiving his righteousness. Yep. When I enter that place of rest, mm -hmm. it is amazing how productive. I still work hard, I always will, because I love it, but I'm not mm -hmm. driven mm -hmm. right. by yeah. insecurity. Mm -hmm. I am drawn and compelled by the love of God, the grace of God. Yeah. Yeah. And you see, you labor from rest. Mm. The fruitfulness is unbelievable, but you labor from works mm -hmm. and perfection, mm -hmm. you you end up burnt out, you end up in hospital, you end up cynical, right. you end up yelling at everyone else because yeah. you become self-righteous mm -hmm. and you uh, jealousy, bitterness, because you, you're bitter. And you know, you'll yeah. see that, so that people are bitter. To, if, if you're coming from a place <laughs> of rest, God loves me. Yeah, <laughs> I'm the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Right. I'm not perfect, mm -hmm. but you know, mm -hmm. as Joy says, I'm okay and I'm on my way, you know, I'm just <laughs> like, I'm, I mean, that ticks the devil off yeah. and that ticks self-righteous yeah. people yeah. off. Yeah. They will be, well, you must have sin in your life. You mm -hmm. must, have, and you go, wow, mm -hmm. it must be exhausting mm -hmm. having mm -hmm. your blood pressure up because that comes when you are um, striving and broken on the inside mm -hmm. and you then resent that someone else has found that place uh, that place of rest yeah. in God, which yeah. actually, if we're going to do what God's called us to do um, for the long haul, you've got to find that place of rest. Yeah, I love that because even how you mentioned bondage, yeah. like it brings you into this bondage because I know for me, I used to have a hard time letting people into my life like to build close friendships mm -hmm. because I felt like, God, I need to represent your image. Yeah. <laughs> and I didn't want people to get too close because I'm like, what if they see the cracks? Mm. What if they mm. listen to some of the songs I like and they're like, Pastor? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, oh no, I can't do this. And, but it was a bondage and it was a bondage that caused isolation. And yeah. you start feeling almost bitter towards oh, God. And yeah. I remember one time I was like, Lord, you know, this walk with you thing, it, it's a little lonely. And when he showed me, I didn't make it like that. That's what you created. Right. And yeah. it was to receive grace for myself mm -hmm. because sometimes you may not see, and that's why I love that example yeah. you gave because sometimes you may <laughs> say, no, I'm not trying to be you know, a perfectionist in that area. But what I didn't recognize mm -hmm. is that I was trying to be a perfectionist mm -hmm. for the image of right. what it means mm -hmm. to be called by God. Uh -huh. yeah. And he said, Stephanie, mm -hmm. free yourself. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like free yourself. Yeah. And it brought so much freedom that brought healing mm -hmm. and even a, just a, a transformation even in what I saw, God, how I saw God move, even through preaching, because then it was yeah. like, no, what you see is what you get. Yeah. Whoever I am is going to show up. Yeah. <laughs> it's not two people that are existing. There's not Stephanie, you know, that's the pastor, and Stephanie, that's the friend. Yeah, yeah. It's the same mm -hmm. person, okay. and that freed me in such a beautiful way. So I love that because you get to start looking in every area of your life and say, have I received grace? in the fullness of who I am. You know, have I accepted that I am the righteousness of God yeah. in completion, right. not in parts, you know, so that's so good. Yeah, that's that. just getting honest with yourself. Yeah. And saying, you know what, 
I'm going to come to this place where I like myself. Yeah. I yeah. like God's creation. Yeah. yeah. You know, and that's huge because mm -hmm. that that's hard for most of us to do. Yeah. Because we are comparing. Yeah. We're comparing always. our gifts. We're comparing ourselves. We're comparing our life. You were saying like earlier, and, and this is such a, the rhetoric is the same, but comparison, mm -hmm. you know, it's will joy. Totally. It'll and kill deal. us every, yeah. time. every time. And, we'll. and I think that's another thing we have to guard against that. I mean, yeah. you know, most of us are not going to stay off social media. I mean, but are you going to limit your time? Yeah, totally. Are you going to? Think about what's playing in your mind mm -hmm. when you do look yeah, at exactly social media. Right. Are you going, well, look at them again. Look at them. Are you going, wow, that's awesome. I'm going right. right. yeah. to celebrate. I'm going to celebrate them. That is so good to say in a practical sense because a lot of people watching are on social media. Yeah. And I happen to love social media. It's something that I enjoy. And yeah. the way that I'm able to enjoy social media is that I'm not on it more than I'm in the That's Word of right, God. Exactly. That's it. I am on it. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I don't hear other people's opinions more than I hear God's That's truth right. yep. about me. So it's, I'm able to mm -hmm. enjoy social media. I'm able to be on Instagram and see, oh, that person, well, that person's wrong. Because <laughs> that doesn't line up with the word of God, <laughs> right? That person's not. And sometimes it does get to me. Sometimes I have weak moments, but at my best moments, there is a way to be a woman fully in 2021 Absolutely. in yeah. your real life with your mm. real friends on real okay. social media and live righteously you when know, you have a real pray for those Jesus. people who are wrong. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. of, you're wrong. I'm, God, yeah. you know what? Yeah. Thank you that you're going to reveal to them. Yeah. Really, when we begin to celebrate yeah. other people, it will yeah. unlock something within us. That's yeah. amazing. And it's, it's the truth. Mm -hmm. And when we feel that judgment, which we all will yeah. do, yeah. if we can catch that and just yeah. say, you know, I'm not going there. Yeah. Yeah. That's not who I am. That's not what God has called mm -hmm. me to do. Yeah. I'm going to either. Yeah. What What is this? Pray, yeah. you know, celebrate, yeah. you know, what is this, what does this call for yeah. right now? And yeah. most of the time it's going to be to pray if you're going to judge, yes. yeah. right. you know, yeah. and just say, God, you know, I pray for myself too, because I'm sure every yeah. day I'm doing things that mm -hmm. I'm thinking things and, you know, that I shouldn't be doing. Mm -hmm. And that's why it is so important. The more you go to God and check your heart, mm -hmm. you just say, God, I, I just repent from what I know yeah. and what I don't know, yeah. Yeah. you know? <laughs> Just help me and, yeah. and let me be a person that celebrates. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that unlocks you in a way that only God can do. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe today and you'll never miss a new upload. And don't forget to check out our Better Together shop. Thanks for being a part of our community.